Hey, it's Alex Wiseman here again to talk to you about the syllabus for CIE 407, Grant Writing and Fundraising and Fundraising and International uh, Development Education, or International Education Development, one of those orders. We have worked th through the first section of the syllabus on course description in uh, the first screencast. Now in the second screencast, we're going to be looking at course grading and assignments. The overall uh, total possible points for the class is 100. And you'll see that that's broken down. Most of that goes towards the course assignments. Some goes towards participation. And in the syllabus, you'll see uh, starting on page 3, there is a breakdown and a description of all of the assignments. The biggest thing that you'll be doing are the course assignments. And these course assignments will be done uh, with your teams. Your teams have already been assigned, and if you have access to the, uh, let me turn the heading off so you can see that, to the course site, if you click on Grant Proposal Teams right here, you will see that there are three teams. These were randomly assigned. I actually randomly generated the uh, list for each of these groups. Although it is funny that uh, some of you ended up together given uh, some of the uh, shared interests and backgrounds that you have. In Group A, we will have Fatih, Busra, Gail, and Shay. In Group B, we will have Alyssa, James, the other James, and Lauren. And in Group C, we will have Nikolai, Ali, Paul, and Carolyn. Each of these groups will work together on these assignments, and I'm going to go back to the assignments, uh, throughout the course. You will submit every assignment as a group. Uh, there is, uh, hopefully I've set it up on course sites so that when you submit, you submit as a group um, and, and you'll see that it plays out that way. All right. There are 10 assignments that will be designed and are designed to help each team develop a grant proposal. If you choose to work in teams, which I'm forcing you, I recommend that you agree within your team which part of each assignment will be prepared by which member. Please make sure that all members of your team contribute equally in one way or the other in the whole proposal development process. I'm going to ask each team member to evaluate, I'm going to have to proofread my syllabus here, to evaluate each team member's contribution to your team project and the ways to improve yourself as a critical team member and the group as a whole in the middle and at the end of the semester. I'll explain the team collaboration evaluation to you uh, in a little bit. Please note that team collaboration evaluation scores count towards your participation grade, not your assignment grade. So, so we'll be talking about that in a different section. It is important to keep the deadline for each of your assignments. However, if you encounter some sort of unforeseen circumstances that are beyond your control, please let me know beforehand to arrange for a later submission. In principle, the grace period is one week maximum and no more than two grace periods will be awarded in the whole semester. The reason why is that each assignment builds on the one before it and it's essential for the one following it. This is a semester-long process, so staying on schedule is vital, and each of your assignments is part of the building block or part of the building process for your final grant proposal. So I've outlined below each of the uh, assignments and an explanation of them. And what I'm going to do is I'm not going to read each of the descriptions of the assignments. I'm just going to uh, highlight what the assignments are and uh, let you know that they're there. So you'll start out um, by writing a letter of inquiry. Uh, you'll then go on to writing a fundraising strategy. Then you will write an introduction to your, to your grant proposal. Then you will write a needs statement. Next, you'll do goals and objectives. Next, you'll do a conceptual framework, although it is optional. You'll see what I mean when you look at the syllabus. You'll then do an implementation plan. This is the meat of the proposal. This is really important. So I hope that you will build up to this uh, appropriately. You'll do an evaluation plan. You'll develop a budget. You will do another optional section called sustainability, capacity, and replicability. You will write your summary and overview abstract. And then finally, you'll do your final grant proposal. Right? These all add up to 80 points, 
with the final grant proposal being worth 30. That's, that's a very large chunk of that. Of course, all of the preceding assignments go to make the final grant proposal. The key is that the final grant proposal must be aligned with whatever agency you are developing the proposal for. And so everyone's, each team's will look probably a little bit different. There are 20 points available for participation. And participation in the class requires more than just showing up for class. There are three ways that you can participate, which I'm describing below. One is the individual class participation, which has two parts. One is actually being there in class. So you do have to do more than show up, but showing up is pretty important. So think of it like this. You get five points, 5% 5 of your overall grade for showing up and participating. That's pretty good. Second of all, I expect you to be an active reader. In one of our books in particular, which I'll be talking about in, in a second, this one here by Karsh and Fox, um, we'll have some quizzes that you'll do. They're relatively easy quizzes. The reason why is in, at the end of each of the chapters I'll ask you to read, there is something called a, a pop quiz or a quiz. And the answers to all of the questions are actually in the back of the book. Right? But I do want you to complete each of these quizzes. You can do them online. I'll show that to you in a minute. That's worth 5% of your course grade for all those quizzes as well. Next, team collaboration. Because I'm requiring you to work in teams on your uh, grant proposal, you will evaluate your team members twice during the semester. There are team collaboration evaluation links on course site. You'll do one in week seven and then another one at the end of the semester, I think the last week of class. These are your way of assessing how your teammates do. If someone has been stellar throughout, great. Give them a perfect score. If someone has slacked off or been inconsistent or unreliable, okay, give them a lower score. It is anonymous uh, for the, except to me. I, I will know who you are and what you've done, uh, how you graded each other, but nobody else will know. All right, so that is easy and important. Finally, uh, you'll do a group presentation. And I know this is a participation grade uh, that you will be, will be doing as a team, but each team has to present their grant proposal to the class at the end of the semester. And you're doing it as if you were presenting to the grant maker, to the person who would make a decision about whether or not to award you the grant that you're applying for. You are limited to 35 minutes maximum for your group presentation. And I want you to use PowerPoint slides using, let me go back to the main page here, using this grant proposal presentation template, which is available on, uh, oh, it wants me to download it, which is available on the front page of our course site. So take a look at the grant proposal presentation template. All right, so those are the assignments. You have got the, uh, all of the 10 assignments that make up the grant proposal from letter of inquiry all the way down to the final grant proposal. You've got uh, individual class participation, which involves both showing up and doing the quizzes on uh, most of the weeks that we are in class. You've got the team collaboration evaluation and you've got the group presentation, all which make up your participation grade. This is a very active and involved class, and so you'll find that you'll be busy a lot. But the goal is that with a lot of our little busy things, they all add up to this one big uh, final grant proposal. And so you're not saddled with doing that final grant proposal all at once at the end. You have contributed parts to that proposal throughout the course. Okay. I'm going to pause here, and when I come back, I will be talking about the required reading and our class schedule.